If we spend $50 trillion to become carbon neutral in the United States of America by 2050, you're the Deputy Secretary of Energy. Give me your estimate of how much that is going to reduce world temperature. So, so first of all, it's a net cost. Um, it's what uh, benefits we're having from getting our act together and reducing all of those climate benefits. We're Let me ask again. Maybe I'm being right now. maybe I'm not being clear. If we spent fifty trillion dollars to become carbon neutral by two thousand and fifty in the United States of America, how how much is that going to reduce world temperature? This is a global problem, so we need to reduce our emissions, and we need to do everything we can. How much, if we do our part, countries. is it going to reduce? So world we're temperature? For, we're thirteen percent of global emissions. You don't know, right do you? You don't know, do you? You can do the math. We need to. You don't know, do you, Mr. Secretary? So we're thirteen percent of. If global you know, why won't you we tell went, me? If we went to zero, that would be thirteen percent. You don't know, do you? You just want us to spend fifty trillion dollars, and you don't have the slightest idea whether it's going to reduce world temperature. Now, I'm all for carbon neutrality, but you're the deputy secretary of the Department of Energy, and you're advocating we spend trillions of dollars to seek carbon neutrality, and you can't, and this isn't your money or my money, it's taxpayer money, and you can't tell me how much it's going to lower world temperatures, there, or you won't tell me, you know, but you won't? In my heart of hearts, there is no way the world gets its act together on climate change unless the U.S. leaves. Tell me how much it's the going US to reduce. You, you can't tell me. Senator John Kennedy questions the wisdom of investing $50 trillion to achieve carbon neutrality without clear evidence of its impact on global temperatures. He emphasizes the need for responsible governance and demands clarity on the expected reduction in global temperatures. This highlights the challenge of balancing personal and collective responsibility in addressing climate change. Skepticism also arises regarding the high costs associated with climate policies and the lack of a comprehensive cost. Benefit analysis. Kennedy's skepticism reflects public concerns about the effectiveness of unilateral actions in combating climate change. The uncertainty conveyed by U.S. Department of Energy Secretary David Turk further amplifies these concerns, raising questions about the unpredictable consequences of human behavior on the planet. 